Get it. What? It's the Wobble by VIC. We got our interns on the morning blend doing the Wobble. Right? Did you know it right now? This song is one of the most popular songs requested at weddings and events. It's true. I love it. We're getting our Wobble on today. That's right with the hitman, the DJ, maybe the most important person at the wedding reception. We have the party. greatest interns in the whole Seriously, world. Seriously, you guys Seriously. were great. You they guys were fantastic. Rock. There they go. Right, right in front, front of the, of the camera. camera. Yep. I love All it. All three. <laughs> right in front of the camera. <laughs> All right. Well, the most important person, arguably, that you can get at your wedding reception is the DJ. I think it's very important to choose yeah, the right one. Yeah, you got to choose the right one. And the mm -hmm. Hitman DJ is in the house today. <laughs> we welcome Nick Colius of the HitmanDJ.com. What do you think of their wobble? I'm actually, I'm going to, they look like they're partying. I'm gonna, yeah, You're going to just go, <laughs> I'm right? I'm just going to go and I'm going to party with them. Yeah, that was a, a good way to start. Yeah. That was awesome. It's important to pick a, a DJ who kind of can get their groove on, right? It certainly is. And um, what I find is the questions that my customers ask me are the wrong questions. It exposes a fundamental lack of standards, I believe, when it comes to DJs. I get customers that ask me, um, so you know, are you gonna get there beforehand to set things up or do we have to pay for that? <laughs> um, I get customers that ask me, um, um, will you act as the MC for the evening or do we have to provide an MC? I look at that as, as comparable to calling a, a taxi cab service and saying, hmm. um, now will you pick me up and take me to my destination? <laughs> I mean, this is what we should expect from our wedding DJs. You should expect that your DJ is going to work with your other vendors. You should expect that they're going to be attentive to your individual needs. Um, and, and quite frankly, the whole, is my DJ going to show up thing mm -hmm. um, is not a question that should be asked when you go to the airport you don't ask you know well what happens if the pilot doesn't show up right you know so so again um, a fundamental lack of standards and, and how low they are is, is kind of what we're, we're up against you, is it because other DJs out there don't provide those things or they charge extra to do them they tend to yeah they mm. tend to um, give a um, and, I, and I certainly don't mean to bash my competition there's a lot of great DJ yeah. companies in mm -hmm. this town mm -hmm. um, but um, a pricing tactic is to to say um, your first four or five hours are this much. If you want additional time, it's this much. If you want dance lights, it's extra. Okay. Um, and, and again, kind of thinking about um, the, the airplane adjective, you know, so I, I buy my fare. Now I'm going to get a seat and a seat belt with this <laughs> ticket, right? Again, these are things that we should be expecting from people um, and not necessarily asking. Great questions to ask your DJ are... Wait, wait, wait. Before you get to that, because I, I promised our producer we were talking yeah. about an event that you have going on tomorrow, and then I want you to tell us what Absolutely. questions brides and grooms should be asking yeah. us. So let's go to some of these photographs, because it helps talk about sure. their point that uh, illustrate, rather, this family fundraiser that's going on tomorrow, right? Right. The, um, the Griebel family um, lost... The, uh, I should say their children lost their parents overnight. Um, this was a, a car accident that took place mm. um, two, three weeks ago approximately, and overnight there were five kids that were left without parents. And oh. um, there have been a multitude of different um, fundraising efforts. One that I wanted to point out is tomorrow night at the Richfield Chalet, it's now known as the Sterling Chalet, okay. on 175 and Freistadt Road in Richfield. It goes on from two o'clock until eight. Um, we'll be there, there's gonna be some other um, uh, live music and some other entertainment. Okay. Um, so really what we're, what we're trying to do, and I'm trying to use this time to mm. um, to tell the folks watching at home um, w what would you ask the public if this was something that happened to you what would you right. ask the public to do for your children um, and regardless of the circumstances of it five kids woke up without parents yeah so we want to um, do what we can the the community has really been great in all this as well um, to to raise awareness for this and, and to try to help these kids and, and heal their their hearts a little bit. That's great. Right. That's great for you to do that and really kind of highlight it and put a spotlight on, on that event. So mm -hmm. thanks for doing that. We appreciate yeah. it too. Um, for, for you getting back to some of the bride stuff and, and just, you know, booking a DJ, having the right person there for, sure. for the big day in their life, what are some of the questions that they should ask? Uh, and again, not the ones that DJ companies tell you to ask. Mm. Ask the questions that make sense to you. If you go to someone's website and they say, we're full-time DJs, we do this 100% of the time, uh, but you met them at their part-time job, you know, that's, <laughs> you may, you may want to ask yourself, um, okay, what... 
What else is maybe not so true on, on this mm -hmm. website? Mm -hmm. um, a great question to ask. What's the owner's last name? What is the owner's address? Yeah. Um, this is not like a government regulated industry. So essentially, um, you can create a website and you can put any old information you want on there um, to uh, try to, you know, get business. Um, so. Uh, I, I would recommend that brides ask the questions that they have. Don't seek out questions that DJ companies say, well, now you should ask, you know, are you awesome or really awesome? You know, that's, <laughs> right. th yeah. Those aren't the correct questions. Um, it, you know, I, I had someone say to me, um, uh, well, what if, uh, what if your DJ is unable to show up because there's a family event? Hmm. And I said, is your wedding not a family event? <laughs> right. <laughs> there are people coming from all over the, the country, potentially, for this event. This is a family event. So to us, it's a family event. I've been a DJ since 1995. I've done over 2,000 weddings personally. Last Sunday, when I was taking care of my friends Derek and Amanda Parker um, down at um, the Milwaukee Hilton City Center, right before I played their first dance, my pulse quickened a little bit. Yeah. This is someone's first dance. This is, um, this might be the last time everyone's together with grandma, or maybe it's, um, you know, a, a story spawns from this night, how Uncle Louie did the glow worm, and you know, this becomes a family, you know, tradition. So we don't look at these events as weddings, as events. We look at these as responsibilities. We're mm -hmm. responsible for um, creating an environment where memories are made, potentially lifelong memories. It's wonderful. Then I, I think asking the right questions is so key. And you can do that right mm -hmm. now by calling or texting. The phone number on your screen is 414-530-2302 or visit thehitmandj.com. They're on Facebook and Twitter. And if you like Nick's page on Facebook, you have the opportunity to win free tickets. Now on Sunday, June 1st at the Sheraton Hotel in Brookfield from 10.30 a.m. till 4 p.m., 2 p.m. fashion show is the wedding show that you can attend. It's a, a bridal expo um, where you can find out more about the hitmandj.com and hiring the right person to handle music and all the other important details of your wedding and right now we have a four pack to the Sunday show um, that we're giving to callers seven and nine again two four packs call us at 414-799-4444 and you can go to the event at the Sheraton Hotel in Brookfield great to have you Thanks and you're gonna be doing here. some live trivia in a little bit you bet also wanted to say good luck to David Rhodes and the mega brawl um, upcoming um, this Saturday, we're a sponsor of David, so good luck, Aww, David. Best awesome. luck to your friend. Awesome. Right. That's great. Very cool.